Good morning, I'm Amy Slaughter Myers, one of the co-rectors here at St. Francis Episcopal Parish and Community Center. And today we're looking at the gospel passage, the second part of what's called Jesus' Sermon on the Plain. We're gonna hear it in church on Sunday at 9 and 10.30. And so I'm just gonna read a small portion of that. Uh, this is from the Common English Bible. This is Luke chapter six, verses 27 and following. This is Jesus preaching the Sermon on the Plain. But I say to you who are willing to hear, love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who mistreat you. If someone slaps you on the cheek, offer the other one as well. If someone takes your coat, don't withhold your shirt either. Give to everyone who asks and don't demand your things back from those who take them. Then it goes on a few, a few verses later and the Jesus says again, Love your enemies, do good, and lend, expecting nothing in return. So this is likely Jesus' hardest teaching, as many, many, many Christians have noted over the years. It also is a teaching similar that comes from our, the First Testament, the Hebrew Bible as well. It is not unique to Jesus. Um, and the 20th century theologian Walter Wink has done a lot of excellent uh, work on this passage that, that turning the other cheek and loving your enemies is not one of passivity. This is not either uh, retaliating, bringing violence to violence, nor is it passivity, what one might call a doormat Christianity where you just take whatever is dished out to you. and. Um, if you want to talk about that more, I'd be happy to talk about that more. But what I want to turn to a sermon um, by the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King. This is from 1957, and it is called Loving Your Enemies. And King, as you likely know, preached often on loving your enemies. And in this particular sermon, he um, addresses three ways that we can love our enemies. He says, first, let us deal with the practical question. This is King. How do you go about loving your enemies? And the first thing he says is this. In order to love your enemies, you must begin by analyzing yourself. You must begin by looking at yourself. This is the thrust of every great spiritual teaching. You examine yourself first. And this is why I say, begin with yourself, King preaches. There might be something within you that arouses the tragic hate response in the other individual. So King is saying, look at yourself. What are you doing? What, what is going on in your heart and in your soul that might be causing your brother or your sister or your sibling to stumble, that to arouse that tragic hate response in another individual? What might you be carrying within your heart? So that's the first thing. That's a way of loving your enemies, is examining yourself first. And the second thing King says that an individual must do in seeking to love his enemy is to discover the element of good in his enemy. Okay, so that is to say, if the incarnation, which we believe in, that means every single person carries the image of God within, herself, within himself or herself or themselves, then there is good in each one of us and there is bad in each one of us. And when we have a discipline of finding the good in our enemy, we have met the image of God in our enemy. And this 
third way, this third way, St. Francis. This is probably the most powerful way that I'm hearing in this sermon today to love your enemy. When the opportunity presents itself for you to defeat your enemy, that is the time when you must not do it. There will come a time in many instances when the person who hates you the most, the person who has misused you the most, there will come a time when you will have an opportunity to defeat that person and you must not do it. That is the meaning of love. Now listen very carefully, St. Francis. In the final analysis, love is not the sentimental something that we talk about. Love is creative, understanding goodwill for all humans. It is the refusal to defeat any individual. When you rise to the level of love, of its great beauty and power, you seek only to defeat evil systems individuals who happen to be caught up in that system you love but you seek to defeat the system now that is a word that is a word that um, your oppressor my oppressor is just as much caught up in this system that divides us up into oppressor and those who are oppressed, and that the system must be dismantled. It is the system that makes us all sick. So these are powerful words. I invite you to pray with them and pray for me as I prepare to preach on Sunday. And I look forward to hearing how you hear Jesus' sermon on the plain in your life. Amen.